Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to paint a natural roach uh, pattern. And let's get started. Well, first up I'm going to be adding a little bit of uh, pearlescent white mixed with a little bit of silver in it. And I've found that this is basically the closest I'm going to be able to get to a, a natural bait fish machine just using paint. And uh, after that, I'm going to be adding a little bit of uh, black on the back. And I usually just uh, build it up uh, just uh, easily. Just I don't want to have it have too much because sort of like want it to have a little bit of a transparent um, feel to it. And uh, now that the back is uh, painted, I'm gonna add a, a little bit of um, blue on the on the back as well. And also, I'm gonna be adding uh, a layer of uh, metallic blue uh, on top of the uh, black uh, that I painted earlier. And now that the lure is mostly painted, I'm gonna add a little bit of details on the bait itself. And um, what better way to do that is to uh, just add a little bit of um, blood effect uh, coming out from the gills. I usually like to do this once in a while. Uh, it gives a little cool little added detail. And of course we have to paint the fins as well. And uh, the first uh, I'm gonna add little bit of um, red on the fin and after that I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, a black highlight on, on front of the fin to make it pop up a little bit more Alright, next up I'm gonna start adding a little bit of uh, highlighted details on the scales themselves. Uh, like before I'm using a just normal pencil. Uh, I think this is mostly used for uh, model painting and stuff like that. And I'm using a mixture of uh, pearl white again with uh, some metallic silver. And uh, I've amped the uh, silver content on the on the scales now a little bit more um, compared to what I did uh, when I painted the sides to make them just uh, stand out a little bit more and uh, actually give a little bit more coverage since the uh, pearl white is mostly transparent And like you guys probably can guess, this does take uh, quite a long time to do, but um, I think it's worth it in the end, because the effect is quite cool. Alright, now I'm gonna start adding some highlights on the head itself and um, just highlighting a few key areas that I feel like that um, need to pop up a little bit more. And um, I've mixed a um, little bit of um, pink to white 
And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you basically just have to uh, take your time with this and uh, maybe go online and uh, check out some pictures of uh, the real deal and see where they actually do have these uh, color changes on their heads. So basically this is uh, pretty much it, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, uh, pretty quick uh, tutorial of mine again, and I have a few more videos lined up, so I'm gonna see you guys very soon again.